live. Well, we've got some snow covered roads out there. We're taking a live look at I-65 and uh, not a lot of traffic at this hour with that snow did come down though between 630 and 730 this morning has moderate snowfalls, even mm -hmm. some whiteout conditions. And Marvin, uh, you were talking, you saw something on Facebook about maybe some slide offs. Yeah, uh, you know, just something to pass along to the viewers. If you are headed out this morning and you do have to travel on the uh, interstate, uh, Interstate 65, according to Indiana State Police, uh, has multiple areas that are icy or snow covered and troopers are on the scene of multiple crashes and slide off. So please this morning, if you do have to head out, uh, please use caution if you have to be on the interstate. I did during the break call Lafayette Police Department to check and see if there were any concerns uh, in the city. Um, and right now they aren't reporting any any slide offs or uh, hazardous conditions on the road. However, it is slick out there. Yes, uh, they did slick. say that. Um, so, you know, if you've got to you know, go out to the county or anything like that, or you're going to be on those county roads or the interstate, especially the secondary roads, yeah, the yeah, side roads. Absolutely. And we saw that just a few minutes ago in West Lafayette. There was a, a minor fender bender, it looks like, because yeah of the roads most likely very slippery out there and they are still snow covered. So yeah. let's go ahead and we'll take a look again. Uh, so I 65 if you're headed out there, still lots of snow out there, a blanket of white. So take your time and uh, allow yourself some extra time to get out on those roads wherever you're headed to this Saturday morning. Temperatures right now we're in the low 20s. We're not going to rise all that much. We're pretty much going to stay here. This is where we're a very cold now in place as a strong cold front worked its way through and we are dealing with some northwest winds. They are brisk and this is the wind chill. This is what it feels like. So we are down into the single digits in Locomo, nine degrees Logansport nine. That's what it feels like 10 degrees in Monticello and it feels like 12 degrees in the greater area. So we did have that snow that came down and that was causing some low visibility. So now it's slightly improving as that snow is coming to an end, but we do have now you can see low is down to two miles out and that is because of the snow, the blowing snow. It is a light fluffy snow, so it is causing some whiteout conditions. And you can see this here, this big batch is making its way off to the east now uh, out of the area. We've got some drier conditions as you can see as you head to the north into the west. So this snow is going to be tracking out of here. We're going to zoom in and show you. We do have the yellow or the darker blue rather, sorry, uh, tracking off to the southeast, moving uh, out of these areas. So we're looking good as far as that goes, but we're going to stay mostly cloudy. We still have some light scattered snow flurries out there. Accumulation an inch or less. And all came down between 630 and 730 for much of the area and you see that is tracking off to the east. So we've got overnight lows. This is the other story. The slick roads this morning, frigid temperatures tonight so we could have some icy spots again uh, overnight tonight, late tonight into tomorrow morning. If you're headed to church, we're down to seven degrees in a lot of areas. So that looks like for your Sunday morning, it's going to be just as cold. And guess what? We're staying there for tomorrow. So very blustery weekend highs tomorrow only to the upper 30s. Here's a look at your projected snowfall amount through this evening. You can see it's going to be light, less than a half an inch for most areas. Again, a dusting to possibly an inch in some spots. Here's a look at your and cold and blustery bundle up this weekend, warming up for next week. In fact, 53 on Wednesday. But that does spell trouble for this time of the year. That means we've got uh, some rain showers moving in with our next system, and that could give us a good amount of rain. So we'll keep you posted on that. That could even cause some uh, flooding problems. Uh, and we're looking at uh, maybe possibly one to two inches of rain before it changes over to a wintry mix Thursday night into Friday.